military weapons. Welcome back everybody and thank you for joining us for another video once again where today we ask the question, will railguns ever be used as a practical military weapon? The railgun is a device that uses electromagnetic force to launch high velocity projectiles by means of a sliding armature that is accelerated along a pair of conductive rails. It is typically constructed as a weapon and the projectile normally does not contain explosives, relying on the projectile's high speed to inflict its damage. The railgun uses a pair of parallel conductors or rails along which a sliding armature is accelerated by the electromagnetic effects of a current that flows down one rail into the armature and then back along the other rail. It is based on the principles that are similar to those of homopolar motors. Railguns are being researched as weapons that would use neither explosives nor propellant, but rather rely on the electromagnetic forces to impart a very high kinetic energy to its projectile. While explosive-powered military guns cannot readily achieve a muzzle velocity of more than about 2 kilometers, railguns can readily exceed up to 3 kilometers and perhaps exceed conventionally delivered munitions in range and destructive force. The absence of explosive propellants or warheads to store and handle, as well as the low cost of the projectiles compared to conventional weaponry, come for an additional advantage. The armature may be an integral part of the projectile, but it also is configured to accelerate a separate, electrically isolated or non-conducting projectile. Solid metallic sliding conductors are often the preferred form of railgun armature, but plasma or hybrid armatures can also be used. A plasma armature is formed by an arc of ionized gas that is used to push a solid, non-conducting payload in a similar manner to that of a propellant gas pressure in a conventional gun. A hybrid armature uses a pair of plasma contacts to interface a metallic armature to the gun rails. A railgun requires a pulsed DC power supply. For potential military applications, railguns are usually of interest because they can achieve much greater muzzle velocities than guns that are powered by conventional chemical propellants. Increased muzzle velocities with better aerodynamically streamlined projectiles can convey the benefits of increased firing ranges, while, in terms of target effects, increased terminal velocities can allow the use of kinetic energy rounds, incorporating hit-to-kill guidance as replacements for explosive shells. Therefore, typical military railgun designs aim for muzzle velocities in the range of 2,000 to 3,500 meters, with muzzle energies of 50 to 50 mj. For comparison, 50 mj is the equivalent to the kinetic energy of a school bus weighing 5 metric tons traveling at 509 kilometers per hour. Now, for single-loop railguns, these mission requirements require launch currents of a few million amperes, so a typical railgun power supply might be designed to deliver a launch current of 5 milliamps for every few milliseconds. As the magnetic field strengthens, it's required for such launches that will typically be approximately 100 kilogauss. Most contemporary railgun designs are effectively air-cored. For example, they do not use ferromagnetic magnetic materials such as iron in order to enhance the magnetic flux. However, if the barrel is magnetic or produces a magnetic field that's perpendicular to the current flow, the force will be augmented. Late into the first decade of the 2000s, the US Navy tested a railgun that accelerates a 3.2 kilogram projectile to hypersonic velocities of approximately 2.4 kilometers per second or 8,600 kilometers an hour about Mach 7. They gave the project the motto Velocitas Erratico, Latin for I, who am speed, eradicate, or in the vernacular, speed kills. In the current designs of massive amounts of heat are created by the electricity flowing through the rails, as well as the friction of the projectile leaving the device. This causes three main problems, the melting of equipment, the decreased safety of its personnel, and any detection by enemy forces due to increased infrared signatures. As briefly discussed above, the stresses involved in firing this sort of device require an extreme amount of heat-resistant material. Otherwise, 
the rails, the barrel, and all of its equipment would melt or be irreparably damaged. On June 22 of 2015, General Atomics Electromagnetic Systems announced that projectiles with onboard electronics survived the whole railgun launch environment and performed their intended functions in four consecutive tests on June 9 and on June 10 at the Army's U.S. Dugway Proving Ground in Utah. The onboard electronics successfully measured in-bore accelerations on projectile dynamics for several kilometers downrange, with the integral data link continuing to operate after the projectiles impacted the desert floor, which is essential for precision guidance. Find more specifications in the description below, and be sure to subscribe to this channel and turn your notifications on for more videos like it in the future. While you're here, leave a comment and a like, and we'll see you next time.